Portugal. Is there, are you with us? Yes, hi, Brad. You hear me? Yes, we can hear you and we see you too. Oh, okay. Wow. Hi, Brad. Uh, first of all, I would like to, to thank you for this invitation. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here. Um, showing the work we do in our classroom and uh, uh, showing a little bit of this project related to Kodu. Do you want to hear about, about the project? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, this project is called Kodu Cup at Colegio Monteflor and uh, it's a project uh, focused on the use of Kodu and on the use of coding with six years old students. Uh, we are talking about a project in which we will challenge pupils to create a game uh, and it involves three steps. Uh, the first step, uh, they will create, they will uh, group, be grouped. Uh, uh, they will be grouped uh, in pairs. They will work in pairs, so they are uh, collaborating all the time during the, the project. And then they will design the game um, with Kodu. They will design the game and create the game. At the same time, they will uh, explore the game explore the software to start coding with six years old, don't forget. Uh, and then they will share their, their games with the others and together we will decide uh, which one is the best game of the classroom. So it's important to use coding in this age, but it's also important to promote creativity and critical thinking and collaboration, other uh, 21st century skills that it's important for our students to develop uh, for the future. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if it's clear, but uh, if you have questions, please ask me. Well, thank you. First of all, um, you know, what is the biggest impact that you see working with such young students on coding? Well, uh, first of all, it's, um, it's inter interesting to see how these kids suddenly they understand uh, technology. They understand that the computers need someone to uh, program uh, them. So uh, they are using uh, coding and they understand the importance of coding. Well, they, have, uh, they are six years old, maybe they don't understand the impact in the future, but they realize that uh, if we are surrounded by technology, we need to, uh, we need to learn how to program uh, the computers. And as I said before, uh, the coding is important, but this project is more than that. It's about coding, but also about collaboration and creativity, other uh, 21st century skills. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think you put it really well when you talk about this as a set of 21st century skills. Uh, because I think in many ways, the 21st century is a software century. And it's the kind of thing where the skills these students are learning will make them more capable of doing anything in life. But I think the other thing that's important for everyone to recognize is that software isn't just important for people who want to work in the IT sector. I mean, you had the example of automobiles. Uh, I think software is going to be important for basically the creation of anything in this century. And so the students that you're working with, uh, I think especially by starting at the age of six, are really getting a head start to pursue just about anything in life. Yeah, uh, Brad, I have a question for you. Uh, what, uh, what can these students uh, do with coding in the future when they grow up? Well, I, I really think you name it, they'll be able to do it. I mean, you, just, you, you, you look at a, a, a wonderful country like, like Portugal, there's probably no business that will be untouched by software. Um, there, and therefore, by the time you know, they're entering the workforce, you know, the skills that they're acquiring today are going to make them more qualified you know, for everything that, that the country is focused on doing, whether it's manufacturing or services or you know, you know, tourism or you name it. Um, so it, it, it is, I think, a role model for what frankly should inspire us uh, across Europe and around the world. Okay. I don't know if you want to ask them something. I can ask them if you want. I can ask what, and see what they are doing uh, in the computers. Sure, we have maybe one minute. So okay. one person uh, would just like to tell us. Okay, I will ask Gonzalo. I will ask Gonzalo here. He's uh, coding now 
uh, I'm, I will ask in Portuguese, then I will translate his, his answer, ok? Uh, Gonçalo, uh, o, que é que, o que é que tu gostas de fazer uh, no Codu? No o que é que tu gostas mais de fazer? Gosto de fazer jogos. Fazer jogos, e mais? E também fazer jogos e ensinar os colegas. Ok. Uh, uh, Gonçalo uh, answered that uh, I asked him what what is uh, his active his uh, favorite activity with Kodu, and uh, he said that he loves to program, and uh, another thing that he likes to do is to teach the others, to teach the teacher and teach the students. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, so I think this is very important that the 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 role the the roles in the classroom are changing. Uh, these lives are changing of these students, but at the same time, the roles in the classroom are changing. The teacher is not only the teacher, but it, it's, it's a learner too. So I think this is very important. Well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for spending a little bit of time this morning. It's clear that we should let both of you get back to teaching. Okay, thank you. Uh, and, uh, but thanks for spending this time and, and making us all a little bit smarter. Okay, thank you. It was a pleasure to me.